In this video, you will see a unique battle of two teams per winner. Each team has two people and we will build mazes. Write in comments whose maze you liked better. Hello everyone, our favorite subscribers. Today we will have just a crazy video. See what happens next. Hi, hi. Today we will play in the Minecraft. I will be in the team with Pepper. George will be in the team with Dad. We will build tunnels who will win. I hope George and I win. And at the end, we will pass them. George, are you ready? <laughs> all right, let's get started, guys. So let's rename our world, change the regime and all that. Mom, let's build a maze in Minecraft. I love playing this game, and I think creating a maze will be very exciting. Of course, Peppa. This is a wonderful idea. There are so many opportunities for creativity in Minecraft. What style of maze can we create? We can make a maze in the style of medieval castles. I like thick walls, towers, and secret rooms. To make the maze complex, we can add ladders, traps, and secret doors. Oh yes, that's a great idea. In the labyrinth, there may be hidden a treasure chest with treasures or rare objects, and we can add barriers like secret passageways or locks that need to be opened to move on. Great idea, Peppa. With such interesting details and secrets, our maze will be unforgettable for players. We can also add some interactive elements such as the levers that will need to be activated to open new paths. Of course, Peppa. Let's get in the game and start building our unique maze in Minecraft. I'm sure it'll be a wonderful adventure for both of us. Let's set the rules that each team should build the longest and most beautiful tunnel in a limited time. Say, 10 minutes. We will also be able to use any available materials and tools for construction. Sounds fair. And to make the competition more interesting, let's add some challenges along the way. Oh yeah, that sounds fun. We can build special rooms with fruits and vegetables or pets so that players can relax and recharge. What if we add another condition? The team that has the fastest tunnel and the most collected resources wins? Great idea, Peppa. It will add elements of competition and incentive to our competition. A team that can build faster and collect more materials will have the advantage. Thank you, Dad. I'm sure it will be the most exciting competition in my life. George, I want to talk to you about your last grade at school. You got an F in math and that's your third straight D. I really don't like this. You can't be so easy on studying. <laughs> Seriously, George, I want to understand why you don't pay enough attention to your studies. It's important to your future. <laughs> I'm not kidding, son. Studying is serious business. If you don't try and get good grades, you might end up with limited options in the future. <laughs> this is not a joke. I am seriously concerned about your education and future. I want to see you try at school and achieve good results. I sincerely hope you start to take your studies seriously. I want to see you successful and confident. Well, we've built the foundation for the first challenge. There's not much left. Yes, Mom, there is not much left and we will finish the first test. I am sure we can win the men's team. Well then, let's hurry the pepper. We have to finish this test and build the second. I think the second one can build a maze. It's gonna be a crazy maze. They're not getting out. Mom, I want to talk to you about school. I'm having some problems. Some of my classmates mock me. They call me nicknames and laugh at the way I talk. It is important to remember that you should not be insulted or teased. First, talk to the teacher about what is happening. It should be aware of such unacceptable behavior and take appropriate action. Okay, I'll do it. But I also feel like I'm not doing a good enough job. All the other kids seem smarter and get better grades. Peppa, every child has its strengths and weaknesses. Don't compare yourself to others. It can be unfair to yourself. Always try to give your best results and learn from your mistakes. And remember that I will always be proud of you, regardless of your grades. Thank you, Mom. You always support me. I will try to follow your advice and I will not let my classmates hurt me. I know you can handle this, Peppa. And remember, I'm always here for you to help and support you. Thank you, Mother, for always listening to me and supporting me. I know that with your help I can cope with these problems. I would also like to ask if you have any advice on how I can become more confident and better educated? Of course, dear. First, remember that everyone has difficulties and failures. It is important not to give up, but to learn from their mistakes. Also, gradually become more organized. Start the schedule, set priorities, and do everything according to plan. 
This will help you allocate more time for study and recreation. Okay, I'll try to be more organized. I have another question. How can I handle the pressure at school? Sometimes I feel like I can't handle a lot of tasks and demands. Everyone is under pressure at school. It is important to learn how to manage your time and plan based on your abilities. Also, do not forget about a healthy lifestyle. Good physical activity and sufficient sleep will help you feel more energetic and focused. I understand. Thank you very much, Mother, for all your advice and support. I will try to follow them and not lose faith in myself. I am sure that you can overcome all difficulties and achieve success. I always support you and am proud of you absolutely. If you have any more questions or problems, always know you can come to me. Okay, Mom, Dad, let's talk about something else, like the weather. Look, it's sunny outside. Yes, Peppa, very nice weather today. I think autumn has finally come. And I heard it's going to rain tomorrow. We should take an umbrella with us if we go for a walk. And I love when rainbows appear. They are so colorful and beautiful. Yes, rainbows are always nice to see. But remember that after the rain, sidewalks can be slippery, and you need to be careful not to slip. Also, when there is a strong wind, you need to watch for trees and objects that can fly. Safety is paramount. <laughs> right, Dad. We should always be careful and take care of our safety, despite the weather. The weather can change, and it's normal. The main thing is that we can choose the right clothes and do everything possible to feel comfortable and protected. Right, Mom. Let's always watch the weather and prepare for any changes to enjoy every day, regardless of the weather. Agreed, Dad. It's good that we have a friend to spend time together, regardless of the weather. Absolutely, dear. Together we can enjoy any weather and do nice things at any time. It's important to just be together and take care of each other. Dad, I have a secret. What is it, Peppa? You know you can always tell me something even if it's a secret. Well, the thing is, there's this boy at school that I really like. That's interesting. Tell me more about him. What's his name? His name is Michael. He is so funny and smart. Together we often play and talk. That sounds great, Peppa. Boys and girls can be great friends. What exactly do you like about Michael? Firstly, he is very kind and caring. He always helps me if I fail. And he's as funny and adventurous as I am. It's great that you have such a good friend. You know, Peppa, friendship is a special feeling that helps us grow and enjoy each other. Dad, I agree. I'm just a little embarrassed because I don't know what to do. What can I do to make him know that I love him very much too? Well, you can start by telling him how you feel. Honest and open conversation is always a good start. In addition, you can spend a lot of time together, play together, and share interesting things. Thank you, Dad. I'll try to be open and show Michael how much I care about him. I'm glad I can talk to you about everything. Glad to hear it, Peppa. I'm always here to listen and support you. You'll grow up to be a great friend, absolutely. Thank you, Dad. I hope we'll be friends with Michael forever. I'm sure you'll have a wonderful friendship, Peppa. Don't be afraid to be open and be yourself. People always appreciate sincerity and friendliness. Thanks for the tips, Dad. I'll try to be myself and enjoy our friendship with Michael. I am proud of you, Peppa. You are a smart and wonderful girl. Always remember that you are worthy of the best friends and the happiest childhood. Thank you, Dad. Your words are very important to me. I'm sure with your help I can develop our friendship with Michael and be open to him.
Glad I can help, Peppa. When we have real friends, we can share our joys and support each other in difficult moments. Don't forget that friendship is a two-way street, and it's important to listen, understand, and help each other. Thanks for the reminder, Dad. I will definitely listen and take care of Michael. I really want to make our friendship even stronger. I believe in you, Peppa. You're a smart and kind girl and you can make a special connection with Michael. And remember, I'm always here to support you if you have any difficulties. I'm proud of you, Peppa. You have everything you need to be a great friend. Just remember that friendship is a process and sometimes it takes time to develop it. But with your skills and kindness, you will succeed. Thank you, Dad. I am very grateful that I have such a caring father. I will do my best to make our friendship with Michael even better. That's right, Peppa. I'm sure you have lots of fun and joyful moments ahead of you. Enjoy this friendship and remember that I am always here to rejoice and support you. Thank you, Dad. I will be patient, open, and caring to strengthen our friendship with Michael. It will be an adventure. Thank you for your advice. I love you. Daddy Pig, you're so good. You gave so much advice to Peppy to befriend Michael. I think they'll make a good couple. Well, we've already completed our mazes. Let's get through them. <laughs> Let's get through your trials. So the first test we passed, not much left. Oh no, not the maze. I hate mazes. Up, it's just a little bit longer. <laughs> Finally, we passed this maze. I am so happy. Now you pass our tests. It seems that it is possible to pass. There is not much left. Now we just have to hit the target. 
targets. Uh. Nicey. But the end we have finished. We pass this maze. Let's go. Uh. Alright, let's say goodbye. At last, both teams have passed all the tests. I think everyone did not bad. Don't forget to follow us. Well said, Peppa. So far, subscribers, thank you for watching this video. Remember to write in the comments whose maze won. Thank you for watching this video. We are very glad that you are staying with us. We are very happy and pleased when you like it. Don't forget to like it. <laughs>